Tell the room to stop spinning. It's making me queasy. Miss Montello, you talked to Frank yet? Who? Oh, yeah, uh, This is, uh, a situation that requires some finesse. He lost a lot of money on you. Okay. We can protect your kid, but, uh, you're gonna have to work to earn that protection. Them's the rules. One of my earners named E-Man might be able to use you. Go find him. Are you E-Man? Sometimes, sure. Okay. So, sometimes not so much. It depends upon your perspective, I guess. Right. Uh, Vera sent me. Excellent timing! For I have been attacked and fleeced by a dragon. A what? With several heads. Terribly fast, roaring in and out of nowhere on a board. Wheels. So much laughing. So you got jacked by a couple of skateboarders. Got it. Except you don't got it. They got it. They took the secret formula. The one and only scroll. If other alchemists make the potion, no one for the Empress, you see? Ah, so they took, like, your formula for whatever it is you make. Precisely. I'm on it. No need to lag, drag. Come on, before I come off. Oh, oh boy. Hell, man, what are you on that makes you run so fast? This is your dragon? I was expecting someone with a little less acne. Hey, hey, little Joe, I think you've got something of mine. Something I really need back. Come on, you little punk. Hand over the formula, or drugs, or whatever, or my fists are gonna get creative with your face. Oh, shit! They didn't teach subtlety. The formula's getting away with the kid! Holy hookers! My mind is imploding and the world is on fire! Ooh, this formula is gonna be a hit! Come on! I'm hot on the scent! Dragons leave a wake of smoke and pixie dust! You all right? <sighs> Wish I could undo that sandwich that I did. Oh, I'm winded. I'll be faster without you. No, no, fly! Don't let the dragon touch your jewel <clears throat> capsule. <clears throat> Do this all day, little man. Stop chasing me. Leave me alone. Hold up, or I'm taking your lunch money. Stop chasing me. I hate to see a kid go down like that. So, are uh, you the Empress's new muscle? Vera? Just while she helps me sort out some things with Frank Valiano. Frank? Those two are on speaking terms again? Did no hell had frozen over. What are you talking about? The Empress and Frank were always at each other's throats before the fall of Rome, and now in the twilight? <laughs> I have a hard time picturing them uh, sorting something out. Hang on, are you saying Vera lied to me? That she can't help me with Frank? I don't know your story, Muscle, but I do know that you wouldn't go running to St. Peter if you were looking to work something out with the devil. And now, I bid you good morrow. Thanks for the help. See you around.
Vegas, sponsored by the Liberal White Guild Foundation, otherwise known as LWG. The mood is upbeat, gross, and everyone here is kind of lame, but at least they believe in something, unlike all those other assholes out there who just want to buy BMWs and pop out squealers. Let's talk to one of the protesters now. What's your name? Hey, Ronnie, I'm Sandy. I'm like your hugest fan ever. Yeah, idolatry is for the week. Why are you protesting? Well, I was born into a white, middle-class family, you know? Call it love, call it karma, it is what it is. Why should I feel bad that kids in Africa are starving or whatever? Is that my fault? I'm so sick of being made to feel ashamed of who I am and all the advantages I have. Oh, cool story, dude. What about you, kid? My name's Barry Ellison. Hi, Mom! Oh, God. Oh. Back to the studio. that I am all about, Probably like, weird done. metaphysical news items. This doesn't only happen in the physical realm, it happens in the realm beyond the veil. Anyway, last night I'm perusing my favorite ghost hunter's blog, and I read that studies done in Eastern Europe found pagans are less likely to have their spirit bound to Earth after they die than meat eaters, or as I like to call them, murder hunters. So, people, if you're not interested in haunting your loved ones for all time, then you must get out of your diet. to go with E-Man. He tells me you and Frank are like mortal enemies. Yeah, so? So how are you gonna help me smooth things over with your mortal enemy? 
There's not a problem in the world that money can't buy. Or, no, that's not right. You know what I mean. Money fixes everything. I don't have a lot of cash. I'm gonna help you out as a favor to your cousin. He was a loyal earner back in the day. Only thing is, a while back, I made the mistake of putting Karen in charge of my finances. Bratz got me on a tight leash. Which is exactly why I called in a favor from an old acquaintance, who just dropped off a briefcase full of green at an agreed-upon location. You go for me, pick up the money, then I can, uh, bring a little something to the negotiation table, Kabish. Fine, sure. Police chase occurred in downtown Vegas earlier today when an errant driver, equipped with at least two automatic weapons, opened fire on police officers. Police formed a blockade, but no amount of force could stop this maniac. Witnesses report that the driver was female, between 120 and 150 pounds, and, quote, a hot piece of ass, height unknown. Police officials request that if you spot anyone matching this description to keep a safe distance and call the authorities immediately. More details as this story unfolds. I feel about buying stuff and consumerism, whatever. So you know how much it pains me to say this, but you really need to buy these caked on boots. Not only are they totally fucking comfortable, they are like hella great for the environment. Made out of authentic, one of a kind used homeless clothing and bags. It is the ultimate in recycled apparel. Not to mention they are only free to... Vera, I'm at the pickup spot, but uh, there's like a bunch of guys here. What? Ah, uh, must have gotten a tip off. You gotta get that money. But the last thing we want is unwanted attention. No bang bang is what I'm saying, you get me? Yeah, I gotcha. Hey, there he is! Take him down! I gotta go. Walk right into this one, chump! You cost me a lot of money, below. Frank! When Frank says go down, you go down! Vera, these guys knew who I was. They mentioned Frank. Nah. The arrangement I got with Frank involves him staying out of downtown. This associate of yours, how tight are you? You saying this was a setup? I don't know. These guys were expecting me. All due respect, man. You gonna be able to help me out or not? Kid, you're on Frank Villiano's bad side. If I can't help you out, no one can.
you've got 101.4, you've got Barry Jones, and now you've got the Hillbilly Hellcats with Crazy Little Baby. So this race you mentioned, when's it happening? Hop in, I'll tell you. Drive to this location. We have to meet Racer Girl. Who's Racer Girl? She's Racer Girl. Oh, gotcha. So, Muscle, what made you decide not to take a dive like Frank wanted you to? Nothing. Holston went down too easy. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if someone paid him to take a dive. Huh. So, why stick around if Frank is out for your head? I, why not just leave Vegas? Go somewhere nice, like Reno. You don't run from a guy like Frank. Go to Bermuda, there's a cabana boy packing a submachine gun with your name on it. And besides, fuck him. Now you're talking. F him in the A. The birthplace of Cleopatra. Come for me. In the Pharaoh's kingdom. Relax in one of our tomb themed saunas. Sleep the Slayer Kings in one of our custom sarcophagi. The Trap Casino and Hotel in Las Vegas. Add a little Egypt to your life. if I had some of your bitches, Brew. A new batch will be ready tomorrow, my sweet. That's what I like to hear. Who's your friend? Jason, meet Racer Girl. Racer Girl, Jason, a new driver. Sweet. Hope you can keep up. You driving too, E? No, just along for the ride. Then hop in. Show's about to start. In the summer of 88, and now he's here in our studio. How you doing, Spike? Two, one, go! <laughs> Between my elbow and Charles, I'm letting about $6.75 a month, so, okay. Yes. You are known for being this, like, hardcore person. Give us a crazy story. I'm not tall in Southeast Asia.
Seems like you could really handle some dangerous curves. <laughs> I can handle anything you throw at me. Good to know. There's always other races going on in Vegas, you know. If you find yourself strapped for cash, hit one up. Yeah, I might do that. See you around. Having it all, and this is 101.4. Classic Vibes 101.4. Have you ever had a nice dinner at home interrupted by visuals of starving children writhing in filthy ditches? I just couldn't take another bite. <laughs> Was your afternoon on the yacht ruined by a report on horrifying labor conditions in a country you couldn't find on a map? Suddenly, the trip just wasn't. Dungeons of Delight is no more as of next Monday. Apparently, their building was bought by a large real estate conglomerate who plans on putting in another big chain coffee shop. A coffee shop! As if the three on that block weren't enough already. I'll never forget the times I spent there. Rocking out to the tunes on the radio while digging my stiletto into the scrotum of some beautiful worm. I'll tell you, I entered that place a girl and came out of it. Keep it in your hearts, Rockers. Always.
You made it. Nice. I need some backup, and my usual go-to is out of town. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Come on, we're going to Dunnerlin. What's in Dunnerlin? A good old-fashioned arms deal. Just need to grab a little something-something to help protect what little Vera has left. So, what's your deal? My deal? Yeah, like, what's your story? Once upon a time, there was a girl who didn't really feel like playing the getting-to-know-you game. That's my story. Ha! <laughs> playing hard to get, okay. I see how it's gonna be. Yeah, just drive, Southie. I lied to you last night. About my brothers. We didn't shoot at rats. We ran with like a... like a crew, I guess. But I got out. Stuck to fighting instead. Good to know. Happy residence, Don Sand. All my other landlords were all up in my grill asking questions like, what's all that smoke, man? Or why does it smell like chemicals? It's like they ain't ever heard of freedom, yo. Best part about Street of Dreams is they don't ask questions. Ever. In my line of work, I always got a lot of guys coming on. Thanks to the streets complaining in freeway side location, my customers ain't got to waste time finding me. Business ain't never been better. See, we believe you can be just about any old thing you want to be and do about anything you want to do. Because this is America. So hitch your trailer to somebody who knows to let freedom ring. The Street of Dreams trailer park. Tell them Uncle Randy sent you and get your first out of concrete box for free. medical treatment goes wrong, he finds himself with a new partner. And he's a real dick. Hey, honey, where you going? They thought they couldn't get along. Damn it, Dick. You can't beat our only suspect. This is the guy who beat me for years. But when the president's daughter goes missing... You're ...at the challenge, TikTok goes the clock to take it. Stop up here! Luis! What goodies have you got for me today? Sorry, Karen. My hands are tied here! Ah, uh, seriously? Take him out! Jason, grab cover! What the hell was that? Frank must have gotten to Luis and applied some pressure. Fuckers getting aggro on us all of a sudden. Cause of me? Probably. At least Luis left the guns. Gonna take these to a safe house. Then I need to meet with Vera, figure out a plan. Hope I'm not gonna regret pulling you out of that car, Jason.
sir. Vote to right commander. This is... Drive around while we talk. Okay, so we all got a Frank problem. Maybe we should skip the talking and get to the part where we take action. Action? No, no. I'm gonna arrange a sit-down. We'll hash out some things, I'm gonna vouch for you, and then things will go back to normal. And what's normal? You stay out of his way until he gets tired of playing by the rules? Again? Until he takes control of this entire city and leaves you with nothing? Is that the Vegas you want? Frank tried to ruin the one good thing I had going for me. My fight. Thought he could walk right in and just take. I've known guys like Frank my whole life. Back in Boston, there was a jerk-off just like him who thought loyalty was a one-way street. Sure, he'll play nice while it's in his interest, but the next thing you know, your brother's dead, and you're buying a one-way ticket to Las Vegas just to keep your fingers. I'm done taking shit from the Franks of the world. It's time for Frank Valiano to start playing by our rules. Easier said than done, kid. Frank's got friends, like Winston Goodman. And that's where we start. I'm throwing myself off the Hoover Dam. Step away from that ledge, buddy, because there's a very good solution. Yes. Grown in South America, this little berry is guaranteed to make you harder than Chinese algebra. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Seriously? It, like, never goes away. So good, it hurts. Literally, like, I'm in pain right now. Besides his night terrors and sudden loss of teeth, it's been amazing. Rush. The little berry that packs a big punch. 98.4. Sovereign nation population one. As a result, we haven't heard anything from Chucky since 1974. But while rummaging through some used record bins at an estate sale last month, I stumbled across a rare gem. It's an acoustic demo of Baster's early single, Chicken Chicken Clocks a Ticket. And we're going to take it for a spin later on this afternoon, right here on 101.4 Classic Vibes.
It's home. You're out of here, Goodman. everyone out celebrating Karen called and said it was a rousing success feels good doesn't it I hope we didn't just start a war I hope we did hello Jason hey I'm a friend of Karen's well, I don't know, friend is such a passe term. It's more like we were in kindergarten together and I've been kind of oddly obsessed with her ever since. And she's been nice enough to indulge my obsessions by hanging out with me from time to time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ronnie Q, by the way. Like the DJ girl? Exactly like the DJ girl. So, hey, uh, Karen says you're good at causing a little mayhem. True story, I like causing a little mayhem myself from time to time. You ever want to get into a little trouble together, come see, okay? Yeah. Sure. Karen say anything else about me? Who's Karen? Oh, right. <laughs> no, not really. Anyway, gotta go. Uh, come see me. Let's break stuff. Okay, rockers, it's the time of day when we hit the phones and take calls from you, our loyal listeners. Let's see what sick things are happening in your minds. Hey, you're on the night. What's happening? Yo, I just want to ask what happened to Thrash Metal. 
It used to be everywhere, and then losers and dorks made sure it disappeared. That's one viewpoint, but I think it's more complicated than that. I guess at its core, it's all about trends. Thrash metal used to be a force to be reckoned with on the airwaves until a combination of oversaturation and the hunger for the next big thing forced new artists to expand their horizons. You could say that it all went the way of folk or frog rock. It's all about the free market, right? Uh, uh... Yeah, hey, uh, you don't want to punish me for not understanding the free market, do you? God damn it! I'm a DJ now! Do you hear me, worm? Now say you're sorry, or I'll beat you until you're seen double! <laughs> This is Heavy Ben on the hood. Next up is Combust by 